Welcome back to the third report in our series on judging the new summer signings and how they're getting on. If you missed the others, then click in the top right corner of your screen now to go to the first one on Adji Elise, because here we're going to assess Abdullah Bar's progress this season. Not a lot was known about this French youth international when he arrived near the end of the transfer window from second-tier French team Le Havre. That's because... He had only signed his first professional contract as a footballer two years earlier, becoming one of Le Havre's youngest ever players to turn pro at the age of just 17. Le Havre was founded by the British as a rugby club in 1872, and they play in the combined colours of Oxford and Cambridge. They are a club known for producing outstanding young talent. Pogba, Payet, Lasana Diara, Riyad Mahrez, Benjamin Mendy and Ibrahim Barr are all notables to have come through the Le Havre youth system. It is amazing to think that Abdullah Bar only made his debut as a professional footballer 18 months ago when he turned out for Le Havre against Toulouse in May 2021, two months short of his 18th birthday, and he scored his first goal against Troy three games later when still 17. And that's a canny strike, isn't it? He arrived as a central midfielder, having played for France at under-16, under-17, under-19, and most recently against Tunisia for the under-20s. In that game, he was the sole set-piece taker for an hour before being substituted. Our first look at Abdullah Bar was when he came on as a second-half substitute against Watford. He looked tidy and positive with the ball. Although a midfielder by trade, it isn't yet clear where his long-term position will be for us, but it looks likely to be a defensive central midfielder role. He has possibly the most elaborate set of superstitions upon entering the field of play that I have ever seen, enough to knock Alex Pritchard off the top at Sunderland. Pritch, in case you hadn't noticed, needs to be last on the field for his team every time and has a set of hops he must perform as he enters the pitch. It doesn't matter if we're playing at home, watch here. Here he is, last on every time. And the routine is touch the grass, slap the cheeks, two bum kicks and off you go. And if we're away from home, exactly the same thing. Last on, same routine. Bar's entrance is much more complex. Tap each heel, touch your face, say a little prayer, touch the ground, three hops on one leg, three hops on the other. Off you go, if you've got it right. Well, Pritch might have the complex handshakes down, but he cannot compete with Abdullah Bar's pitch entrances. He's had a limited impact at Sunderland so far, if truth be told. He's come on for seven games, averaging 20 minutes a game, and it's hard to have an impact when your opportunities are limited and stop-start like this. He did start the game against Cardiff on the 5th of November in place of Corey Evans, but was largely disappointing, eventually being substituted for Evans just before the hour mark, and post-match comments by Mowbray echoed this disappointment. Pretty straightforward, yeah, I think so, yeah, not quite the, the impact on the game, but he did it on Wednesday night at Huddersfield. Third game in a week, and you know I left some experienced footballers out, and maybe that's maybe a mistake. But um, yeah, listen, I'll, I'm sure I'll toss and turn in bed tonight, thinking did I make the right starting decision? He does look to be talented though, and doesn't look out of place with the first team on the pitch. He seems confident. He's still very young. Remember, he won't be 20 until after this season is finished. He's demonstrated a hell of a strike at Troy and in training, but we've yet to see him really impress upon the pitch. Overall, a reasonable start and one to be hopeful about, but currently likely to stay on the fringes of the team. A six for the young lad, and I'm sure he'll only get better. If you made it this far, well, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, I guess, if you liked it. Share, subscribe if you liked it a lot, and you'll get a notification when the next one of these reviews comes out. Thanks a lot.